floor of the Museum of the Bible here in Washington, D.C. As you can see, the museum is in complete construction mode right now, but lucky for you, I've got full access to the building today, and you get to join me on this 360 degree hard hat tour. So go ahead, take a look around, because as we go along, I'm gonna be showing you glimpses of what the museum is gonna look like when it opens its doors to the public. Oh, and one more thing, you're gonna need one of these. As you can see, the Museum of the Bible is located just off the National Mall and has amazing views of both the Capitol Dome and the Washington Monument. At 430,000 square feet, the museum is a truly impressive building. It includes eight floors, a rooftop garden, lecture hall and theater, classrooms, banquet halls, research facilities, and a whole lot more. One of the amazing parts about the Museum of the Bible is that the location in Washington, D.C. has a subway entrance immediately adjacent to the museum site. This will give visitors easy access to the museum from virtually anywhere in the city. As you walk up to the street level entrance, you'll be greeted by two 40-foot tall bronze doors. These doors will be inscribed with the words from the first chapter of Genesis from the Gutenberg Bible. Inside the main entrance is a huge glass panel with text from Psalm 19 from a third century Greek manuscript called the Bodmer Papyri. Come on, let's check it out. Here we are inside the main lobby that you'll see when you first enter the museum. Now the cool thing about the lobby is this 150 foot digital canvas where we'll rotate biblical art and images throughout the day. Now if you just want a place to cool off and enjoy this incredible display, you can check out our coffee shop, which is right over there. Now let's head to the second floor. It's this way. Here we are on the second floor of the museum. The second, third, and fourth floor will cover the impact of the Bible, the narratives of the Bible, and the history of the Bible. These three different experiences will give you incredible insight into the global phenomenon that is the Bible. Now, the breadth of the museum collections is amazing. You'll be able to see Dead Sea Scroll fragments, hundreds of Torah scrolls, beautifully illuminated manuscripts, rare printed Bibles, and so much more. Now, portions of these collections have already traveled in exhibits across the United States, even around the world. They've been to places like Vatican City, Cuba, Germany, Argentina, and Israel. And people around the world have been fascinated to learn more about this amazing book. Now we cannot wait for you to visit the Museum of the Bible's permanent location here in Washington, D.C. I hope this 360 degree hard hat tour has given you further insight into what's in store for the Museum of the Bible. And we invite you to get involved today. Visit museumofthebible.org to find out how you can have a part in this historic museum.